Hello guys, welcome to another episode at IBM Electronics World and today I will compare a DIY transmitter and receiver with the FlySky FSI6 and the receiver of course, which is already mounted on uh, my drone. So this is the first time I'm dealing with the drone and the transmitter and receivers. I, have, I didn't have any experience, but I will share with you uh, the results of this experiment. So practically I used these two joysticks, a potentiometer, two switches, one Arduino Nano for the transmitter and uh, the module of uh, NRF24L01 and the same for the receiver. So it wasn't that difficult in order to implement the project, but the, the result was a bit disappointing. So practically the joysticks are so cheap and the potentiometer are not very accurate. So when I was uh, trying to calibrate uh, the joysticks was, wasn't very accurate. And sometimes it was because the values, it should be from 1000 to 2000. So it was jumping from 1500 to, to 1000 and then or vice versa. I'm not sure, probably it was noise or something like that, but I used the, the bypass capacitor, I used uh, the, the, I twist the, the pair of wire, I used the prototype board in order to avoid, I know that it's not ideal, I should have uh, made the PCB, but I think I would need to investigate further about the joysticks because they're very cheap, and as you can see here, the potentiometer is just a very very cheap material plastic and you can see that even anyway so it's not the best it was very cheap it was about eight dollars both of them so yeah so I, I should investigate and try to find a, a more expensive one a better quality and also I should replace uh, uh, the microcontroller uh, Arduino with something better, probably STM or I don't know. I will investigate further and I will come back with uh, the second video. So I was uh, very disappointed with the result of this. So I will try to continue. That's the reason I didn't make a video on that. So I believe it doesn't worthwhile with the current components to, to make a video only for this. I will keep you posted with that. So that was my first drone and this is the the receiver of uh, fly sky it was both so i strongly suggest you you have the option to take without the gauge and uh, similar receiver because it takes a lot of space here as you can see but it's fine for me so it's my first uh, drone so i was expecting to do some mistakes so in my first drone i have used four in one uh, tm motor brassless which is this one so you can just solder uh, all the motors on this board so you don't need uh, a separate ESC and I think you can save actually the cost it should be around the same but you can save some some space here and I didn't like it to be honest so I wanted one then I used the Matic flight controller uh, it's the F722 again this is my first drone guys if you have uh, a recommendation please write in the comments below your suggestions and i have used the four motors which are three hobby 2306 and i'm using the 2500 kv i think for the beginners uh, are fair enough so i did some research and i think i had a very good comments i haven't tested yet now i'm going to power up my drone I totally recommend the smoke stopper which is this one it's for I think uh, four dollars you can find it online so it, it prevents if you have a short circuit but just in case we are going to use it now so you can see now the LED here it's on and you need to bind also your receiver with a transmitter, I have done it already, so you need to open your transmitter and then you'll see that I have powered up my drone 
And here I have the pre-arm, which is the buzzer as well, and then this is the arm. As you can see now, it has powered up. And by changing the throttle position here, you can see that it, the speed, the motors are accelerating. So, and now I think it's time to add the propellers and go outside and test it. So you can just... Ah, something else. So you will find that on the internet as well. I'm not the best, I'm not the best person to guide you and explain how I uh, I configured everything but I found very useful for instance because by mistake you can just arm your uh, drone and cut your fingers or I don't know it, it is very dangerous so you have a second option that you can go and you can set the pre-arm which you set your pre-arm which is the buzzer as well if you lose your drone and then you are with the second uh, with a second switch and then you need to just close the pre-arm and it's fine and until you just switch off the arm the drone is off thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please recommend me and write me in the comments below which camera shall i use and please share this video and subscribe and i will see you in the next episode